I just love attempting projects when I don't actually know if they're possible or not. <laughs> this week, we're gonna see if I can combine knitting with crocheting. Now the short answer is yes. I know that I can technically combine knitting and crocheting. I did it with the sweater vest that I'm currently wearing. I made the front and back panel of the sweater vest on the knitting machine. I crocheted these little granny square accent pieces and then I crocheted the sleeves shut or the, the sleeves. Do you call it sleeves on a vest? The armholes. I crocheted the armholes to make it look all nice and finished. I wanna take this concept to like the next level. And like, I know it's physically possible, but will I like the way it looks? I'm not actually sure. The goal for this is to create the ultimate spring sweater. I wanna use this yarn on the knitting machine to make the body of the sweater. And using this yarn, I want to crochet some sort of like big flowy, almost like mesh sleeves. In my brain, this is so cute. In my brain, this is the perfect sweater. But I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna time this project and we can compare how long does it take to make like the body of the sweater on the knitting machine versus how long does it take me to crochet the arms. Let's do it. Every time I'm threading this thing up, I feel like I'm looking into the eyes of a praying mantis. I'm just getting started, but the joy I feel right now, y'all, this, whatever this is, Lion Brand Mandala Ombre, this is the best feeling yarn I've ever used on the knitting machine. Y'all, this is so nice. I cannot explain to you how hard it was to use the Karen yarn. Oh my gosh. So it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to make the front and the back panel of our sweater, which is really, really fast. Y'all, this yarn, I'm absolutely obsessed. <laughs> I have never felt something feel this good on the knitting machine and no yarn has ever been as zoom, 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 like as easy to use on the knitting machine. And the fact that they're already in yarn cakes too is incredible. It took me almost exactly one skein to make the front of the sweater and exactly one skein to make the back of the sweater. I genuinely don't know where to start when it comes to crocheting. I feel like this is about to just be chaos. I'm just gonna start crocheting around where I want the armhole to be. And, and it's not like there's like exact places to go through. I'm just gonna try to keep it at like an even stitching as I do like a double crochet all the way around the arm. I think I wanna crochet like a neck of the sweater too. I might even make it like a turtleneck that like comes up and like drapes over. I don't know. Making clothes is so much fun. I want to like make everything. I wanna make all my clothes. I am so excited to start learning how to sew y'all. That already looks so pretty together. It looks like half of each of these armholes are going to be about 25 stitches. So I'm gonna do my best to do 25 stitches on every other part keep it all even. These yarns together, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I crocheted for an hour and 20 minutes, the same amount of time that it took me to do the whole front and the whole back panel. I did, I, I did this much of the sleeve. <laughs> But y'all, I was planning on making this like a full length sweater, right? With like sleeves all the way down. But seeing it on now, this might be like a t-shirt. This might be like a short sleeve sweater. Sleeve, short sweater, a t-shirt sweater. Is that the thing? It's like 3 a.m. I don't know. <laughs> I was also planning on having this sleeve be gold and this sleeve be blue. But what if both of the sleeves are gold and like the collar is blue and I still make it like a big poofy collar? I don't know, but it's time to go to bed and I'll finish it tomorrow. So in last week's video, I made a happy jar and kind of did like a happiness vlog talking about how there's a lot of things that I wanna start adding to my life, adding to my routine just to increase my happiness. And one of the things we talked about in last week's video was crocheting outside more. So while I was working on my 
knit crochet sweater this week, I figured I would go to a park and work on it outside. Still haven't decided if I want it to be long sleeve or short sleeve. I'm kind of loving this like short sleeve sweater look. So I think for starters, I'm going to make a matching sleeve on this side, then work on the collar, and then we'll go from there. To start crocheting into my knit project, I literally am just taking my hook and pushing it through my knit project, grabbing my yarn and putting it on the hook, pulling it through to where I leave like the little tail, and then I have the yarn that's still in the skein. And I'm gonna chain three to start. One, two, three, because I'm doing double crochets. I'm gonna try my best to make the arms match, but see how like I don't have like an exact place to go in because I'm more just going into the, the knit, which is more just like fabric. On the other sleeve, I did 25 stitches into one side of the arm, 25 into the other. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. If I was doing this perfectly, I would like actually count how many like stitches we have in our knit material, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just estimating and I know I did 25 stitches in each side of the other armhole making 50 stitches total in our arms. <laughs> so that's just what I'm gonna do over here. That's what it looks like. I definitely got here a little bit later than I meant to today. The sun is almost down, but I figure I'll just crochet until sunset and see how much we get done. Y'all, I just met the sweetest lady. Oh my goodness, she came up and asked me what was I doing? And I said I was crocheting. And I wanna tell you all this story that she just told me because I don't want this to happen to you guys. She was like crocheting. She's like, my friend tried to teach me how to crochet once and I was having fun and thought it was going well, but then my friend took the yarn and whacked me on the head with it and told me I was doing a bad job. My heart just like broke. I told her, I was like, get you some yarn and try crocheting again and don't let your friend tell you otherwise. Y'all, if you wanna crochet, don't let your friends tell you otherwise. Just keep trying and keep having fun with it until you make something. That made me so sad. That made me so sad. Oh my gosh. Like most things I do, I'm just making this up as I go. And so I'm just literally <laughs> <laughs> leaving my stitch marker there to, to hold these two panels together and then I'm just crocheting straight across and down the other armhole pretending like they're already connected even though they're not I'm just connecting them by crocheting the lady I talked to also just said to be aware of snakes apparently there's like a lot of snakes at this park so now I'm just like paranoid and like looking around I'm not even scared of snakes but like if I reach over to grab my yarn and I grab a snake I'm gonna scream <laughs> Now that I'm back to where we started, I'm gonna show you how I do my mesh stitches. I don't actually know if this is the way you're supposed to do mesh stitching. This is just the way that I've always done it. I should look up how you're supposed to do mesh stitching. I don't know, let me show you how I do my mesh stitching. <laughs> the second row with the mesh stitching is always the hardest for me. So you're gonna start by like chaining five because we're doing a double crochet. We're gonna skip that first stitch we would normally go into and we're going to double crochet into the second stitch. Then we're gonna chain two. Now we're gonna skip that stitch, go into the second stitch. So you're basically chaining two after every double crochet and then skipping a stitch and going into the next stitch. This is gonna get a lot simpler on our third row, but for the second row, it like looks kind of weird. Ah, yarn. See, it's already creating that like mesh look. Yeah, it's gonna be so pretty. Chain two. Skip, go into the next one with our double crochet. It's the start of our mesh. It looks so good. I'm almost completely out of sunlight, but before I leave, I wanna show you how I do my next row of my mesh stitching. This is technically like my third row. Okay, so once again, we do five, two, three, four, five as a chain. And now it's gonna be so much easier to see where we go in because we literally just crochet where there is a post. So we're going to the first one, chain five. Then we're going to double crochet into where the first post is. And then chain two, always chain two. And then you're going to double crochet into where the next post is. Chain two, crochet where the next post is. Now you can really see it making those like mesh stitches. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, but before it gets completely dark, I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna keep working on this until we get it done. So uh, let's cut to a montage. <laughs> I 
I've been working on the collar on and off for a few hours and I'm almost done. I only have a couple rows left and I'm looking at it now and I'm like, like what if I hate it? <laughs> like I, I think this is like what I want it to look like, but if I don't like this, I'm gonna have to redo the entire collar. Like I'm wondering if I made it too big. I want it to be really big and like floofy and like fold over. I hope that I like this. <laughs> To give the collar this like ridged look, I'm doing half double crochets into the back loop only. I love how it looks. I'm literally just slip stitching once I get back to the base of the collar. <laughs> and then chaining two and starting my next row. I finished the collar. I have just been using like a slip stitch to sew it shut. And we're about to find out if we love the collar or hate the collar. I'm low key a little nervous. Before I like weave in all the ends or anything, I wanna try it on with the collar and see if I like it. I haven't sewn up the sides yet. I'll do that after I try it on. I just wanna make sure that I like the collar first. Let me get my mic out of here. Oh my gosh. Wait. It's, it's kinda of weird. Why do I kinda of love it? I feel like I need to bring the blue in somewhere else. Maybe we'll use the blue to like sew up the sides. I need a better mirror than this. Into the bathroom mirror to get like a real genuine reaction. The big swoopy neck of this sweater is perfect. I always wanna wear turtlenecks. I just, I love how they look, but I feel a little bit like claustrophobic wearing them. This is just iconic though. This is iconic. Okay, I do need to bring the blue in somewhere else in the sweater. So let's finish sewing up the sides, maybe with the blue. I'm so excited. Tonight, Josh and I are going on a little date. So I figured a fun way to end this video would be to style the sweater and see what I'm gonna wear it with. I was gonna wear it with just like a fun pair of jeans. These have Grogu on them, but now I'm kind of thinking that I might wanna wear some fun pants. Like the yellows and the blues of these pants I think would look really good with this. Let me try it. I think these are iconic. This looks so good together. I love all the colors. So fun and bright, ready for spring. It's like 65 degrees out, which is perfect for this kind of sweater, but I still wanna wear some form of like a light jacket because it's gonna get colder in the evening. I thought I was gonna like this pink jacket. I don't, a little weird. This is the jacket. This is the jacket. This this is the jean jacket that YouTube made me. So thank you YouTube for this jacket. Sunflower for the Sunflower family, of course. This is just like a baggier jacket in general, which makes it nice because the sleeves fit inside these sleeves. Our big mesh sleeves were just getting a little bit bulked up in the other jacket. So definitely gonna wear this. We have a lot of yellow going on. So I'm gonna do my banana earrings. These are so fun. For a necklace, I want something small and dainty. So I'm thinking like this little mood necklace, super cute. You still see it underneath the turtleneck. I love it. Some little bracelets on the theme of yellow. Let's just wear this little headband, cute. And if you know me, you know that I wear Crocs literally every day, so we're gonna wear these today. A Little bit of perfume, and I think I'm ready for our date. So it's been about a month since I started making like some clothes for myself, and this is like the third piece of clothing that I've made for myself, and I just, I can't explain how much joy it's been giving me. So I'm super excited this year to really learn how to sew, to continue to incorporate crochet and knitting into my clothes making and just really go on the journey of creating a style that really feels like me. Like this, this really feels like me. So let's go on our date. <laughs> 